my. Poor little Mikey. Can we not talk about it, Bridget? Oh, those, those Millers, they really must be good people, you know? I don't want to talk about it. Otherwise, why would Miss Donna have such a change of heart like this? Bridget! Well, I mean, surely she wouldn't give Mikey to them if she didn't think that, that they were going to be suitable. Would you be quiet? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I was up all night last night just worrying about Mikey and my parents, and I'm just tired of being depressed now. It's a total idea, I understand. I mean, you know it's about time you had a bit of happiness yourself. I mean, you're such a nice young woman and all this misery of adult, dear. Just go get that. Oh, gee. Good morning, Bridget. Speaking of misery. I need to see Marley. She's out. It's all right, I'll wait. Not there, you won't. Oh. I am going to go and get Stephen up. Get out of here, Jake. You can't take it. Molly and I care about each other. The sooner no. you are out of her life, the better. Well, that's not the way she feels. Give her time. I'll give her anything she wants. What does that mean? Including a terrific new job. What job? Molly wants to be my partner at Visions. It's a terrific idea, don't you think? Partner? She suggested. It's a rotten idea. Well, Marley doesn't think so. Marley doesn't think. She's eager, ambitious, everything I could want in a business partner. Oh, you are so... Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I turned her down. Thank goodness. For now. Marley and I were very good together once. Until you screwed it up. I'm going to make it work again. You're not going to get a chance. Uh, who's going to stop me? I'm going to do my damnedest. So you're going to tell Marley that I slept with Donna? If I have to. You wouldn't hurt her that way, Vicky. Yes, I would what if I thought Michael? you... It would kill him. You gonna tear Daddy up like that? Why don't you tell Marley that I stopped by? I gotta get going to work. Just how is that video bid going, huh? Were you able to pay this month's rent without Donna's money? Will you ever manage without her money? Bridget, would you tell Marley that I stopped by, please? Just how long before you go belly up, huh? Unless... Oh, I get it. You're gonna hit Marley up for the money, huh? That's why you're so anxious to work things out with her. She's just the money bags you need. Well, you better wait until she finds out that you're using her. The way you used all of us. You just wait until she finds out. Whoa. I'm in a rush. Why are you just like that? Take a guess. You're not going riding, are you? I'm going riding and I'm late. But you don't know how to ride. What's to know? You put on smart togs, you get on the horse and you hang on. There's a lot more to it than that, Victoria. See you. Wait. I have people to meet. And I'm going to be late. I need to talk to you. It's all been said. Victoria, you're the only person that knows what's going on. Your lover knows what's going on. Pour your heart out to Jake. That's 
not necessary. It wasn't necessary to turn your back on your son. I gave him to his mother. You are his mother. I would have lost him anyway. Why? Because Stacy got a hold of a copy of the tape. And she said if I didn't go along with her, she would expose it in court. So the judge would have taken Mikey from me anyway. You don't know that. Victoria, when you were in the same place, I tried to support you. I tried to understand you. Maybe you're just more forgiving than I am. I don't want your forgiveness. I want you to see I why do I'm doing see. this. I don't have a problem with that. I didn't want to ruin everybody's life. You lives. didn't want to ruin your own life. You did it for you just like you did when I was born. You said I was taken away, but is that true? Or did you just give me away too? How can you even ask that? Maybe it's a pattern with you. I lost you because of my father. So you claim? I never even knew I gave birth to twins. The doctor reported to my father. They put me under when I went into labor. I never even saw you. I never got to hold you. Maybe it's because you didn't ask to hold me. Victoria! You were my baby. I would have given anything to watch you grow up and to hold you and to love you. They took you away from me. Why would I lie about that? After yesterday, I decided you could lie about anything. Not this. Please. Please believe that. You believe that, don't you? I'm off to the stables. It's a great way to meet people. I, I should have thought of it years ago. How can you not realize how painful this is for me? Especially you, a mother who just went through this. You had a choice with Mikey. No, I... You could have taken it on the chin. You could have done it for your kid, but you didn't. I did it for Michael. You don't, don't give a mind. damn about anybody else. It's about you, mother. It is always about you. Move. So glad you could make it, Vicky. I wouldn't have missed it, Mark. Okay going to love our little band of brothers and sisters. I'm just sure I will. Of course, you know Louisa Pierpont. Oh, of course. Vicki Hudson, how do you do? I don't recall seeing you at the trials last week. Oh, I've had a lot of obligations. I haven't written in months, but now I'm free and clear. Just what we need. New blood. And beautiful to boot. Well, thank you. Vicki Hudson. Dexter Ashton. Dex is our club champion. And our hope for Barcelona. Well, if Bill agrees to captain. How could he turn down the Olympic Committee? So, Vicky, what's your forte? Dressage? Jumping? Oh, I, I do a little bit of everything. I just like to ride. No prima donna she, unlike some others. Ride you will. We've set up a course that even Dex will have trouble with. <laughs> really? You'll love it. Especially jumping Cross Creek. Oh, you took the jump too far upstream. That's why you fell and broke your collarbone. You, you jumped across creek on a horse. Oh, you're funny. Isn't she funny? <laughs> oh, actually, it's just a hack up to the old mill and back. <laughs> really, the old mill? Ten miles, no big deal. Just ten? Which horse would you like? Uh, midnight or Baby? Oh, I, I'm sure Baby will be fine. She's a beauty. The stall's right there. Ah. Well, why don't you run along, and I'll catch up to you. Hey, babe. Uh -huh. Your baby, huh? Okay. We're going to get along just fine here, okay? <laughs> here we go. So... Okay, not so bad. Now, if we could find a place for you to come Now, we don't have 
anywhere for me to get on, so we're just going to do it right here. All right? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I said you couldn't eat the grass. Okay. Now we're just... We're going to get along famously, all right? We're just going to relax. I'm relaxed, okay? So I'm just going to fly right up into that saddle of yours, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Low, all right? A little dirty, but I'm okay. Okay. Let's just try this, all right? Okay. Come on. No, you have to... No, you have to stay still so I can get on top of you. You see? No. You're the one supposed... Uh, honey. Honey, babe. You just have to stand still here. Right. All right. <clears throat> No problem. Just gonna... Okay, ready? All right. A little too fast. Take it nice and slow. Thank you. Okay, babe. All right. Oh, good boy. Okay, baby. Not this, but this. Not the way we want to go. All right. Oh. All right. Let's go. No, not that way. Let's go. Let's go! So, all right. Um, sweetheart, what am I doing wrong here, babe? Uh, this is the way they usually do it in the movies. <laughs> this guy? Do I use this guy? All right. Ready? Coming up next, Lionel and Augusta are plotting against CC, but will their plan make them decadently and disgustingly rich? Don't miss the Emmy-winning Santa Barbara next. I'm Bryant Gumbel. Tomorrow morning on Today, cultural diversity in the workplace. I'm Deborah Norville, also arachnophobia director Frank Marshall. And I'm Joe Garagiola, and we'll listen to the music of Michael Penn. That's tomorrow morning on Today.